Gotta scrap that plan. We've just drilled six holes into the structure of our boat. They call these the floors. This is the stringer. So we were under the impression that there's wood inside of here. We wanted to test the condition of the wood. When we drilled in, it was thick fiberglass, hard to get through, and then you'd break through and it was hollow inside. When you pull it out, there was really no wood shavings. And we drilled close to the crack and out here, we were hoping to see if the, the wood was maybe a little bit wetter here and, and dry out here. Out here, breaks right through. It was the remnants of wood shavings in there, like there might have been just a really thin wood frame that they used to fiberglass over, but this is basically just solid fiberglass, really thick and hollow on the inside. So we tested this one, same thing, same here, same here. Now we drilled into the stringer and there was wood that came out. So this is really thick, at least a half inch to an inch of fiber of fiberglass. And then when you break through that, you, you get to wood. We drilled into it here, came out, and there was wood shaving. So there's, there's wood in here. We talked to two different uh, owners of Carter's. One said this is mahogany. The other said possibly teak. So we're back to square one. We had a plan to just put a stainless steel bar across here, uh, at least a quarter inch thick, and then we were going to screw it in. But right now we're, we're wondering how... You know, there's really thick fiberglass, but it's just going to go into fiberglass. There's no core here. We had a plan, and we were going to move forward with that plan until something happened, which forced us to change our plan. Well, something happened, which forced us to change the plan. Now, any number of things could happen down the line, which are going to force us to change our plan yet again. But as of now, we are prepared to implement a lot of the advice that we have received which includes using a C-channel stainless instead of just a one-strap stainless bar, through-bolted uh, in parallel, I think that would be in parallel, um, as well as using fiberglass to help connect the stringers and the ribs to the hull, which will provide much more stability than what we have. Now, a little known fact about Joel is that he's going bald! Babe, what's going on? Well, That's uh, I'm not act <laughs> actually going bald, I don't think, because we, we're seeing some babies sprout back up, but I went a while without combing my hair. We lost our big tooth comb. We had this little tooth comb, and I was just going to town with this small tooth comb. I just pulled and ripped a whole bunch of hair out. <laughs> and I ripped out this massive clump and it came out fairly easily so I'm, I'm not so sure if growing your hair out makes hair loss more of a reality if it makes it easier for your hair to come out it seems like a lot of hair comes out every time I comb it but now I have this big clump missing on the back of my head and it doesn't feel very good and it's definitely a little embarrassing so next time somebody starts to think that Joel's got better hair than I do, I mean, it's arguable, but at least I don't have a big bald patch in the back of my head. This hooks on here, we could hook it up to a vacuum. It's got all these little 
attachments. Oh, that's for a bigger. And a handle for the side. Handle for the side. Let's put that baby on. Jack, thank you so much. Thanks, Jack. This is huge. Why don't you read the box? Tell them, tell them all about this, this okay. sander here. So what we got is a 6.5 amp, 6 inch, dual mode, random orbit sander with turbo action. Woohoo! It's got the... Uh, what are the RPMs here? Oh, um, I'm sure that's... 3,000 to 6,000? <laughs> Good guess. Okay. 3100 okay. to 6650 RPM. So look, there's a little knob here. You can adjust the speed of the sander. As well as the mode on the side, the other side. It's got mode here. What is this, a turbo mode? Yeah, right here. What, what are the modes? If you what? want big chips or small chips. Big chips or small chips. Kind of like a grinder slash polisher. Yeah, and it's, it's, got, it's got these holes here so the, the dust goes into here out the back and it also helps probably to, to not clog up these yeah. sanding pads so much. Speaking of sanding pads, Jack also sent us about a hundred about a hundred million grit. sixty grit. Now this is called hook and loop yeah, hook, and loop. hook and loop technology which I thought I thought it was called Velcro but hook and loop must be the technical term for Velcro. It helps with the dust control. But look how quick you can you can just you could you could be sanding and just be like I need another one and you could just grab another one and then you could just and then you could just start going again For your viewing pleasure, we've saved the last dead body in the bilge, human hanging from the rigging, skin suit in the locker, jar of eyeballs in the fridge. Two inches of epoxy paint. And this has been our method to remove every square inch. Uh, take a look at the rest of the boat here. Michael used Jack's present to sand today and she got the entirety of the boat. But we're down to bare fiberglass. Eh? Looks nice. Looks All the way real nice. All that in a day. Now you might be wondering what's going on with the rudder. This epoxy paint, barrier coat, whatever you want to call it, was adhered a lot better, so it was harder to get off. Um, so we saved this, because we'll probably just actually sand this down, and because it's, it's adhered well, we can put on paint over it. We might even put a little bit of epoxy paint over it and then the anti-fouling. Um, the reason why we removed the entire, all the way down to fiberglass was because it, it came off easily. Unlike here, it's hard to get it off and that's how it should be. That's how your barrier coat or your bottom layer sh should adhere to the fiberglass. So that's why we removed it all. Pretty exciting. Also, we're going to raise our water line. So um, we didn't worry too much about sanding up into this gel coat here. Subscribe! Who, me? No, not you, them. They should subscribe. Hey, you guys, go ahead and subscribe. I'm so cute, aren't I? I'm yes, so cute. You are too, Lola. Look at my big belly. Oh, oh my goodness. I've been getting lots of chicken bones. These are the tails of Boab.